All the people that you see on the picture behind me are people who were killed by the police. And with Ahmaud Arbery, he wasn't killed by the police, but killed by people who were chasing him in their cars as he was jogging. Now, when did it ever become okay for people to get into that cars and chase somebody down the street because of them um, thinking that they've done something wrong? Um, That is the police's job. Uh, Get on your phone. You can call the police or do something like that. But to chase somebody down and demand somebody to stop and, and then kill them. And then the thing that really, really got to me is when I saw Ahmad still trying to run after he was shot. He was trying to run off. He was trying to leave. That is just the saddest thing. Just think about if you had a son that was jogging down the street or even looking inside of a house that um, that was being built because he was interested and probably had dreams of having one one day or whatever the reason why he was looking at the house. And to see somebody chase him down the street and kill him in that fashion. I pray for you all who think that's okay. And I pray for the families who are going through this Ahmad's mom. And I'm thinking about Brianna Taylor, her being in the bed and the police just come in her house and kill her. I mean, let's just put it out there. And ain't nobody got arrested yet. It's okay for somebody to come and kick your door in or however they came in and kill you in your house just because you're a police. Y'all got to do better. There's no way in the world God is liking this, honey. In the dreams and visions he sends me, I'm for sure he is not liking this. I am calling on everybody today to repent. Repent and turn back to God before you see yourselves in hell, honey. You can't dig your way out of that with no backup. You won't have any backup when it's time to go to hell, honey.